This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. A four-year-old boy is hospitalized after he was mauled by a mountain lion at the West Texas home of a relative who owned the cat. The Associated Press reports Odessa Police Corporal Sherry Carruth says the attack happened Sunday afternoon as the boy stood near the animal's cage when the cat reached out and grabbed him. Police were withholding the identity of the child, making his condition unavailable at the medical center hospital. However, Actor County Sheriff Sergeant Gary Dusler tells the Odessa American that the child suffered lacerations and puncture wounds to his left side, including a bite mark to the left side of his face. Caruth says the 12-year-old 150-pound mountain lion was euthanized and is being tested for rabies. According to KHOU.com, an investigation was underway Tuesday after a recently arrested man died in police custody in Angleton. The arrest occurred after police received a 911 call about a suspicious person. Police first identified the suspect, Christopher Marshall Monroe, in the 1100 block of Bachata Road. Road. Investigators said Monroe jumped a barbed wire fence and hid in a field while officers set up a perimeter around the property. About 15 minutes later, police said Monroe jumped back over the fence and ran into a roadway as officers followed. They caught up with Monroe in a nearby backyard. They said he continued to fight them and they used pepper spray to subdue him. But while Monroe was handcuffed waiting for EMS to arrive, he lost consciousness. Police said he was taken to Angleton Dan. Berry Medical Center, where he was pronounced dead at 7.08 a.m. A North Texas boy in custody has died after allegedly wrapping a sheet around his neck during a game of tug of war with another youth at a detention center. The Associated Press reports the Texas Juvenile Probation Commission is investigating the death of a 14-year-old Jordan Adams of Cleburne. A coroner Monday listed the cause of death as asphyxiation due to strangulation. Granbury police say they are investigating the October 10th incident at Granbury Regional Juvenile Justice Center as a homicide. Adams was transported to a hospital where he died Sunday. Captain Alan Hines says juveniles have been known to put their bedsheets under the cell doors and play tug of war. Adams allegedly put the sheet around his neck as the other juvenile pulled. Center officials declined comment on why Adams was held. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.